And I'm, I'm a Rush fan. I love Rush. I love bands that can play live. I'm not a fan as much as, of bands who are like studio bands. You know, they make an album and they never tour. I really believe in the work ethic of uh, touring, writing, making an album, doing it over and over again. You know, this band is awesome, man. And of course, it doesn't surprise me. I never heard of it because, of course, over here, they won't really play anything except English speaking music. There's always some exceptions. And I think that's kind of sad because uh, that means I kind of missed out. But I'm glad I'm here. I'm glad I've heard them now. And uh, yeah, I'm an instant fan. They do remind me uh, of Rush and of The Warning from Mexico, another trio. Now, I've reacted to a few different trios. There's, in Japan, there's Asterism, there's Trident. I really love the get down gritty stuff, you know. <laughs> You know, just the the just the basic. If you get if you can get those basics, you got it made. You know, a, she's a really good bass player, uh, very competent, confident. Uh, she was doing some cool slappy stuff in there, and uh, just just some just some nailing it bass. Uh, the drummer was great. Uh, the 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 singing was good. The singer, I liked her voice. She had a very distinct voice. Having heard it once, if I heard it tomorrow, I would immediately know that's the singer from. What are they called again? Eureka? Not Eureka. Uh, Sati Sativa? Uh, what the heck are they called? Eureka Sativa. So if one of you wants to make a, a phonetic spelling of this band, how do I pronounce it? Because I'm not exactly certain. I should ask my wife. She was in Argentina. Blah. My wife was in the Argentina for a year, and she learned Spanish in school, and, and then she mastered it basically there. She had an Argentine accent. I'm trying to get her... To get up the confidence to come and speak to you guys. She's not, she's kind of shy of the camera, you know. Uh, yeah, I'd like to know more about this band. I think this band intrigues me uh, a little extra because it's got, you know, uh, two women and a, and a guy in it. That's a really unusual trio format. I mean, I've only ever known basically, you know, all female trios from Japan, Mexico, or all male, you know, from the UK, etc. But this is the first one that's a trio that's mixed, and that's really interesting. Um, obviously, the female uh, psyche involved is uh, it brings uh, out a different kind of music, and uh, it's, it's very delightful to me that this band is uh, very uh, kind of a, a aggress aggressive in rock there, and they're uh, yeah, it's exciting. I'm quite excited about this band. I'm really uh, pumped about it. Just so you know, I will be reacting to some more soda stereo feature uh, a few other progressive rock bands from argentina there's one that'll be coming up sunday you can stay tuned for that and uh, as well we get back to all around the world i don't react only to argentina or latin america i did a chilean band but we're back with japan we're doing uk we're doing uh, sweden we're doing norway everywhere all over so stick with the channel and spiraling on its dean thanks for tuning in bye